six out of ten. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Hi everybody, it's Jennifer Lee, and I'm here with Navid in HFPC's movie premiere and review for the Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, and this is going to be the most important one that we've ever done. That's right, Jennifer. That's because it's going to be the very last film in the whole trilogy and saga. Oh wait, there he is. Uh, what? Are you okay? Oh, can you see it? Yeah, you have some blood coming down your lip there. What the hell happened? Well, let's just say I had to take care of a certain sand alien. I had to make sure he didn't crash our movie review. Dude, yeah, I think they're called Tusken Raiders. No, 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 no. This is a sand alien. He crashes all of our events, especially our Star Wars movie premieres. But I took care of him. Eh? Eh? All right, Don Vio Carlone. Eh? All right. We are five minutes away from the premiere of the last movie in the newest Star Wars trilogy, and I am super hyped. Are you excited? Oh, I'm pumped, but they have one single Wait, last... What, what? What does that smell? Oh my god, I know that smell. That can only be one person. The can of trash himself, Dan Fogarty. Hi, guys! Okay, I'm not sitting next to him in the movie theater. Oh, uh, fuck that. What? Yeah, me neither. What? Right now! I can't believe you gave the sand alien a ticket to the movie. <laughs> well, I figured Peter needed a surprise. <laughs> Are you from Tatooine? Uh, uh. You want to trade jackets? <laughs> See, I told you it's not Top Gun. I guess it was Top Gun, huh? And you didn't believe me. Shame. You well, owe did, me a shake. It didn't look like Top Gun. Because, I mean, it, it had, was pretty obvious. It had no that, scenes from the original in it. it but, you, but you looked at, but wait, if wait, you wait. saw the helmet, you saw the action. Welcome back. We just saw the movie and uh, we're about to get into how we think about the movie, how it fits into the whole franchise, and everything in between. I'm going to start with you, Navid. What do you think? I don't think that the movie was as good as everyone said it was. Um, Didn't deserve a standing ovation? Definitely not. No, no, no. There was a lot of things that I think that they did on the cheap as far as just so they could bring some nostalgia in there. I don't think it was. I don't think they tried to be as creative or as open as they could have. Peter, what did you think about it? I am in agreement with Naveen's point of view. However, I was actually getting very, very upset at the film. I, I, I want to say that it really is borderline horrible. Okay. It felt like to me that there was a 12-year-old writing the script. That seems to be a trend lately. And um, what, what I found to be the most upsetting to me was the uh, the overall theme of this of the storyline was you had you had all these different conflicts you had about I don't know what 20 different conflicts and then like 30 but go ahead very very small conflicts okay where's Ray Where, where's Ray where did Ray go oh oh now we got another conflict to deal with now we got another conflict to deal with you can't have a film deal with these many conflicts and then go right into like the main conflict because then you're just like, it doesn't matter anymore. Right. You blew you blew your load already. Okay. You have to sit. You have to save your load for the end. Right, Jacob? Correct. Get get that big splooge where it counts. You gotta save save it for the money shot. Yeah. <laughs> that was a that was the main problem with the film. There was other problems with the there film. There was, was not was enough foreplay. Brilliantly yeah. said. All so right. so yes, you have to massage the storyline. You have to build it up. You have to build to the so climax. There was no build. Sex thing here. Uh, I agree. <laughs> no, you no, can't no. just cluster fuck everything. <laughs> so it's just like and he's a 16 year old on Viagra. That's why they just jackrabbited everything. Thank you. Finally, Nubby. And that's why it looked like a 12 year old wrote the fucking script. Yeah. See, so what I thought of the film, is, well, past three even, is that this was all a money grab. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to do, uh, oh, this is what fans want to see, and they wanted to cater to the fans instead of actually mm -hmm. tell a legitimate story. So, that... And it was crammed. It felt crammed. It, it, yeah, it was more crammed than the last film, but go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, because, let's face it, younger people have short attention spans, so they're like, well, if we can give them conflict after conflict after conflict, that'll keep their attention, but I don't think it quite hit the nail on the head like they intended it to. Um, 
Does conflict after conflict after conflict ever work? No, not as far as I, I, I know. What did Finn ever want to ask Ray? Like you start the movie off with him, I want to ask you something. They bring it up again. Like, what did you want to ask her? They bring it up the third time. You mean tell her? Or tell her? Tell her. Yeah. Whatever. He wanted to say something to Ray, and they keep bringing it up like it's something important. Okay. There and was, he never says it. There were so many things going on. I forgot about that. Uh, oh, okay. and then it's like later on, uh, he's on, they're on the ship, he goes, so what did you want to tell Ray? Well, I'm not going to tell you now. He's like, I think this is a pretty good time to tell somebody. And he doesn't say anything. <laughs> tell her before we forget, there was no saving anything for the end. There yeah. was nothing, there was no saving nothing. Exactly. There was no saving, revealing Kylo Ren's face for the end. There was no re uh, saving uh, Kylo Ren facing off against uh, Ray, Ray. Ray. No, Ray right. at the end. I would have not had them touched, touched until the end. So Maz, she was not part of it at all. The yellow Yoda looking character, she was, she like had almost no part even though she was in it. Which one's the Yoda? She's the one who eyes look like anuses. <laughs> yeah, like she had no role. She literally, there was no reason for her to be Because they were trying to cram everything I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's so much unnecessary okay. items in this movie. So the first ones, their story is generally like um, a battle between the dark side and the light side. And uh, how the struggles to get there and to stay on the light side, the sacrifices you have to make. The second trilogy is how the dark side can kind of even get, happen in a very good person under the noses of everybody around where it can still seep in and like sink its claws. This one, I'm sorry, what the fuck is the story? I had no clarity. <laughs> Thank there you. Was, <laughs> there was no revelation in the end. Let's let's be honest. Okay, the the, the re revelation at the end is that Ray was uh, Palpatine's, Palpatine's granddaughter. That was the uh, big reveal in the whole movie. You don't uh, like that? I, I would have preferred not having that be the main twist because then because if the end of the story is, can you overcome uh, your your destiny your, your of like of your family? If, can you overcome that? Then you should know who your family is way before the last twenty minutes of the last movie. Stormtroopers. Apparently, all the ones who know how to aim were force sensitive and got that feeling and turned away from stormtroopers because Finn and that chick did not miss a shot. <laughs> <laughs> the most positive thing I think is the very end of the movie when. Ray uh, is asked, what's your name? Can I know what your family's name is? And she says, uh, Skywalker. The only reason why I like that is because that shows like triumph of overcoming your inner demons. And, and I think that's a lot about Star Wars because each trilogy had families. Yes. So like even many families, even though this one, the, the family of it kind of only stayed together briefly, as in, Ray didn't really do anything with Finn and Poe in the first two. They did everything together no. in this one. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Ray never met Poe till this, till this one. Right. And then Finn met Poe. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Ray never met Poe until till, now? Till, till now, yeah. She didn't really get to know him Right, they the didn't do anything film. in the first two. I had no idea. Maybe because I didn't give a fuck <laughs> about the main characters. <laughs> with all that, uh, let's go into our scores. What would you score the movie? Being generous and trying to be nice, six probably out of a hundred. Six out of a hundred? <laughs> wow. Seriously, six out of ten. I, 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 that, that's being nice. Being generous. Because, uh, you know, they hit some nostalgia. I know I said it before that yeah. Disney, aka Mr. Buyer of Marvel, whatever, I said that this franchise was in its last burning piece of threat. I'm going to have to agree with Naveen and then say it's a 6 out of 10. Take it, Peter! Listen, like me and Trash Can Dan said, it had to have been a home run or it is done. Unfortunately, it was not a home run. So I'm going to have to give it an overall score from a 1 to 10. I want to say 4.55. I'm going to say 4.5. Because it was pissing me off while I was watching it. I think that if you're just going into this to see a campy film that's got attention-grabbing action and great cinematography, then this would be a good film. But if you're going in to get character building and story and plots and to see uh, the epic drama of Star Wars unfold, then this probably isn't the movie for you. 
So since they scored well on one end, but not so well on the other, I think I'd probably give this a 5 out of 10. So, Peter, just to let you know, I want to give you this to you before anyone got here. I got you a Christmas gift. So, it's kind of a surprise, okay? Awesome. Um, there, hold on. It's, it's right here. You got me again? Yeah, I remember you said you've always won one, so I got you one. But oh here's, my god, I've always won. Here's the thing, it's somebody that you've always won as a gift. Ready? <laughs> the relationship potential that they were building between Ray 